I'm Ben Visharan, a global solutions engineer at Sophos. A lot of people don't think that cybersecurity is relevant to them and that cyber criminals aren't going to go after them. But in reality, there's a number of different attacks that we're seeing against small businesses on a regular basis. Firstly, let's define malware. It's important to understand what it is. Malware is software that's been designed by a cyber criminal to try and disrupt your business. It generally has some actions on objective and tries to do something malicious to your systems. So the other form of malware that we're seeing is financial-based malware. It gets into your system, it sits there quietly. The moment you go to say a banking website or your superannuation website, it then makes a decision to say, right, I'm called to arms. I'm gonna wait till the user enters their username and password. I'm then gonna send that off to a command and control server and then have access to your accounts. We discovered that 13% of infections in Australia last year was active adversary behavior. That's someone that's actively broken into your system, has hands on keyboard and are trying to do something malicious. They don't know what they're after. They're just gonna find something that they can potentially leverage and use that against your organization. So phishing's become much more sophisticated. Attackers are using common and trusted services like Office 365, Squarespace. They're able to send you an email that's highly targeted and of course are prompting you on action, whether it's an account is locked or something needs to be paid. It's something that requires urgency. And of course from there, they want you to click on a link and there's always some kind of action on objective, whether it's log into a website after that or open a malicious attachment. Credential harvesting is another form of attack that we see against organisations on a regular basis. Most people use the same or similar password for every service, and attackers are aware of that and are using it against organisations. In November 2018, I was engaged to work with an organisation and their security team, and I was unable to find a way to break in, ethically of course. But the CEO used the same password for everything. Using the LinkedIn data breach of 2016, I was able to obtain his password, log into his account, and successfully complete my attack as him. Regulatory compliance is something to be aware of, and it can be a scary thought. You need to notify the government if you do experience a data breach and show some kind of mitigation. You may be liable for up to $2.1 million as a business, so failing to comply could have serious ramifications to your business and yourself personally. So how do you keep yourself protected? Keep your software up to date. It's important to patch your software and keep everything relevant and new. Don't reuse your passwords and use a password manager. On top of that as well, I recommend multi-factor authentication. So that way, if someone does manage to get your password, you're gonna be asked for a second factor, something that no one else would have access to. Try not to use free Wi-Fi when you can. Attackers wanna use as many points of infiltration as possible. So if available, use a personal hotspot. Of course, every organization needs firewalls and antivirus as well. They are a must in 2019. Consider doing a phishing penetration test. Try and find out who is high risk in your organization and again, try and mitigate that risk where you can. If you've been using the same IT company for say, the past 10 years, it might be time to get a second opinion just to make sure you're secure. Cybersecurity is not an IT problem, it's a business problem. It's something that everybody needs to be aware of and work on together. <laughs>